Plus one individual, Mr. Uh, Clinton Hopper, was you know six three, well over two hundred and and thirty five, forty plus pounds. You know, uh, Mr. Griswell was was five eight, five nine, and about one hundred sixty five, one hundred seventy pounds. So there is a considerable size difference that is also taken into consideration. But you know, just the whole sequence of events that we have put together, uh, how this incident took place, and even up to leading. Uh, the night before, again, uh, all the evidence and, and all the statements uh, lead to that this fact this was a, a self-defense or just a full, uh, justifiable homicide. Um, just for the fact that the individual was bigger in itself does not necessarily uh, is a sole consideration, but you have other factors of, you know, Mr. Griswold um, was stating that Mr. Hopper was on top of him you know, punching him, had his hand on his throat, was choking him. He was starting to um, black out and was fearing for his life. Thus, um, uh, was able to reach, reach a gun, reach his gun, and uh, fire one round at, at Mr. Hopper. There's a whole um, plethora of things that come into play. We've looked at those, we've compared those with the statements that were made and with the evidence from that night. And again, it's, it's leading us uh, to the fact or the belief that, that this was justifiable homicide or in or self-defense.